Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well today I am trying something that I am I'm having fun with. I'll, I'll just tell you that. Uh, well I'm trying to keep this RV behind me cooled off by using an as seen on TV product called Arctic Air. Well they claim that this thing will cool down an area and uh, I did a test yesterday for only one hour. Well, today's test is going to be for an entire day. And this RV will be sitting out in mostly full sun throughout the day. So it will get warm in there. Yesterday, it was 94 degrees inside the RV when I got in there at 6 o'clock in the evening. So I'm running a test today from 10 o'clock in the morning all the way to 6 in the evening. And I want to see just what will happen. Well, if you've looked down into the comment section, you've noticed that I have disabled comments on this video. Because if you're like me, you'd probably scroll down there and you'd read what others said and you'd leave the video. I'm going to make you stick around for all of it. <laughs> but I will tell you the full results of this and whether you need to spend 40 bucks on it. Not only is it as seen on TV and you can order it off of TV, but you can also get it at Walmart as I did for 40 bucks. So, hey, let's go inside and see what's going on in here. Okay, this is what I am going to be operating the uh, Arctic Cooler with today. This is a piece that I bought at Walmart. It was $20. Uh, and this will plug in, of course, to the cigarette lighter jack that's inside the RV here. And uh, then I turn it on and I use the USB port uh, from the Arctic Air and that's what uh, I will run today. I will run it on the battery and I will also open the vent in the bathroom. Uh, I do have the air conditioner on in the RV now so that I will have the uh, temperature starting at 70 degrees uh, when I get this, this whole thing going and that way we kind of give it a, a free chance, you know, uh, a fair, a fair shot, I should say. Okay, I left both of these bottles of water in the refrigerator last night, and then I put them in the freezer this morning for about 10 minutes. So both of these are very cold. So I feel like if the room starts off cool and the water in the cooler starts off cool, that's giving this thing the best opportunity because normally what would happen is the temperature would cool down overnight I would start this up at about seven o'clock in the morning but uh, I didn't want to sleep in here last night and go through all that so I'm doing it at 10 o'clock this morning instead so let me take the tops off and I'll pour the water right into this trough here and uh, we'll set it up get it going as I said I did put these in the freezer for 10 minutes and you can hear the ice that is uh, built up inside and there's a little bit of ice that you can see as I poured it out it did uh, form inside of there some pieces of ice had fallen in so uh, I feel like I am giving this thing the best opportunity it could have again we're gonna start at 70 degrees in here so the main thing I want to see is that this can maintain a decent temperature I'm not expecting this thing to stay 60 degrees inside here all day but hey at the end of the day if I can come in here and it's only 80 degrees in here I'd be tickled I'd be excited okay so I got my inverter hooked up to the uh, cigarette lighter port I've got the USB cable hooked into it uh, coming off of the back of the Arctic air Got the Arctic air full of my cold water. And uh, now I'm ready just to uh, push on. Again, I do have the electricity turned off in here, so all we're running on is just the battery. And you can feel it is coolish feeling air. Alright, now let me show you the temperature in here. It is right at 70 degrees. Okay, what I want to show you now is the conditions this RV is going to be put into today. 
it is sitting out in the full sun you can see the uh, electrical cord hanging out of there i have unhooked the electricity and this rv will be in full sun until about 5 30 6 o'clock something like that yesterday i came out here at uh 7 p.m and this rv was 94 degrees inside of it it was uh right out 90 outside but it was four degrees hotter inside the rv and that's because it's just like a, a car if you park a car out in the sun it's going to get hotter inside the car than it does uh outside okay well it's been running for two hours and i came in here to put some uh put some more water in it so uh i'll show you what it uh how much it's going to take just after the two hour run we'll fill it all the way up and it looks like it's going to take right at a half a bottle all right well i've come out here at the fourth hour so of course we're halfway through the uh the test and i'm going to add some water to it and looks like the water level i'll have to probably turn a flashlight on to, to see and to be able to show you well, the water's only dropped down about one inch uh, since I was out here earlier. So uh, I guess once the filter gets all the water soaked up in it, maybe it uh, draws the water down slower than it does uh, at first. And that's kind of what I think it was trying to say in the uh, instructions. It didn't quite make too great a sense. But anyway, you go ahead and pour this cold water in, this water that I brought in here. Uh, I did put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and uh, it was trying to uh, freeze up so <clears throat> there's a good bit of ice in this water so hopefully that'll cool it down a little little bit better too well it's just a little more than halfway through the test and I wanted to show you how the RV is sitting out here in full Sun so uh, it is really taking a baking right now and uh, of course that uh, little fan in there is just begging for mercy I'm sure uh, trying to keep it cool in there but uh, yeah I got about another hour 15 and I'll go back in and uh, pour some more cool water in it okay folks well the time is up I have had this going since 10 o'clock this morning it is now 6 p.m. So I run a good eight hours on it, and uh, the first thing I want to point out is that when the water was cool inside of here, you could feel that the air was cool in it. Okay, now you can feel that the air is, it's moist, but it's not as cool as it was earlier. Well, if you can read this, it looks like the water temperature is nearly 90 degrees. I have dropped this little thermometer down in here to kind of get an idea. Well, I mean, really, if you think about it, the only way this is going to make the air any cooler is if the water is actually cooler. So, uh, and, and please, y'all stay with me till the end of this video because I got some other information I'm going to share with you. But I do want to show you the temperature in here is the, it's the same as it was yesterday so this did not drop the temperature at all now let me say this if I get 100 likes on this video within three days let me show you what I will do I will fill up this with ice in the morning I will put a bag of ice in here I will put a little bleeder valve on here and I will hook this rubber hose to this trough or whatever you want to call it here, this tray. And as the ice melts, I will have this rubber hose going into this fan, this cooler fan. I will do everything possible to make this as cold as I can get it. I will pour the coldest water in here to start with. I will put a bag of ice in here so that cold water is constantly dripping down into here i want to make this as cold as i can so if i get 100 likes within three days i will do that test 
And I know it's just killing so many people that they would love to put in the comments of how stupid I am for even thinking that this would cool off this RV. I never said I thought it would cool it off. But this box right here says that at the very top, it says quick and easy way to cool any space. It doesn't say that it's a quick way to put moisture in the air, which is exactly and all this thing really does. That's all it does is put moisture in the air. That's all this thing does. It is not a cooler. You know, if you were out in a dry condition, uh, maybe out in a desert or something, I guess it might, but uh, here in Alabama, we have a, um, our humidity is so high, our heat is so thick here. I mean, it feels like you're wearing heat out here. But uh, to give you an idea of what I did in the RV, I did uh, open the vent uh, in the bathroom and I turned on the vent fan, which I only have one of those four inch fans in my vent. I do not have a fantastic fan. Uh, but you know that might have helped in this particular situation I don't know all I can tell you is uh, what I done here and what the the study I did and I know some of you are curious about my battery as far as what was the battery reading after I done this because I did run the cooler fan all day today at eight hours and I also had the vent fan on for eight hours so uh, I was curious myself and the battery when I read it with the tester was 12.42 so uh, some of you may know what that means I don't batteries and electricity doesn't make any sense to me there's too many things that you can't see with your own eyes between Hertz volts amps watts and voltage and all that crap I just can't understand it I've got to be able to see it to understand it anyway Folks, like I said, y'all put 100 likes on here in the next three days. I will do another test. If not, this thing's going back to Walmart because it is false advertisement. It does say that it will cool any area. It doesn't cool. It just makes an area wet. So uh, anyway, y'all uh, y'all give me the thumbs up 100 times. We'll do another one. Thanks for watching, folks. I sure appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.